Okay, so in our last video for this series, we're going to talk about brass. And in my opinion, at least with this uh, piece in particular, the brass samples and that sort of Hollywood aggressive, rattly brass sound is what's taking this piece to the next level. So I'll just highlight for you uh, the different articulations that I'm using. And then I'm also going to show you how I'm using EQ in this case to really accentuate the sound of these, uh, of these brass amples. So the first thing I have up at the top are a couple of uh, swells. So um, let me just solo those by themselves. You can hear I'm only actually using trumpets to basically swell up into um, you know the the change in a section. Um, otherwise, I'm basically using trombones, French horns, and uh, these Wagner tubins exclusively to play the melody. So here's just the trumpet swell by itself. And you can see that this swell is overlapping with the other notes here. So rather than loading two different articulations for trombones and, and French horns so that I can sort of create, um, you know, the long notes and then also the swell notes. I'm just basically overlaying some trumpet swells to give it that effect. So actually, if I bring these guys in here together, you'll hear what I mean. So you, it's almost as if these instruments sound like they're swelling up, although they're not, but it's just the trumpets which are helping that um, feel that way. I also have some French horn rips, which basically, you know, on the front of each of these phrases, it's just a, a quick sort of staccato rip, so I'll let you hear that. And then lastly, we've got each of these uh, different um, longer articulations. So the Wagner tubin uh, is pretty aggressive. Let's listen to that by itself. But not as aggressive as the trombone. So here's the trombone section. And I've actually got two articulations here separated because I wanted to be able to play the quicker sort of st staccato parts um, on a, a bit of a, a quicker sample. So let's listen to these two together. So really mean sounding. Um, and then lastly, the French horns. So I probably could have done uh, with the French horns what I did with the trombones and put some staccato samples here to help accentuate this, but there's enough of that coming from the uh, trombones that it, it's not really necessary. So let's listen to all of these um, longer articulations together. <laughs> So there's that rattly, aggressive brass sound that you're used to hearing, you know, in Hollywood movies. And I'll just show you quickly, too, how I'm using equalizer um, settings here to, to sort of help accentuate that further. So I'll bypass my EQ plugin on. And these guys, um, by the way, are all grouped on this one single brass auxiliary track. And so this EQ is sitting on just that track and they're all being EQ'd together, which actually I think helps to sort of glue them, uh, glue that sound together by EQing them all as, as if they're one section within the orchestra. So let me play it for you with the EQ bypassed. <laughs> and now with it engaged. So 
So you can hear there's a significant lift in kind of the upper mid range, which is where all that rattle, aggressive, um, you know, very upfront sounding noise is. So I've helped um, accentuate that by by just basically boosting quite a quite a lot actually in that range. And um, I find that especially in the context of a dense mix, um, if you've got guitars, drums, all that kind of stuff, you really need to push the orchestration um, in that range to get it to poke through. All right, so that covers it for this track. I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any feedback, um, you know, leave it in the comment section below this video. I'm planning to do a few more of these series on orchestrating and writing um, for heavy music. So be sure to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook if you're interested in watching more videos like this.